no secret. Um, you know, I think that would hurt any team. Um, best player on your team is, is out. So, um, you know, obviously it's going to be tough to, um, you know, filter in his, his offense or his, his ability to, um, you know, make, make things happen out of nothing. But I think we have the guys in here to, you know, compensate and, and we have the right guys in here and, and we know that we have to play tight checking tight uh, checking game probably tighter than than ever so um yeah obviously it, it sucks it sucks for us um like i said that would uh, hurt any team in the world i think so um but we have to find ways to to win hockey ga games without him too i mean it could have been worse i'm sure but i imagine Connor was pretty disappointed in your opportunity to speak with him what you say about kind of how he's taking this i mean it's it's obviously uh you know frustrating for him um you know, he's had such a great season so far, and um, he's played at such a high level. Uh, you know, even coming after his uh, his serious injury in the summer. So, um, you know, I think it's frustrating for him. I think it's frustrating for us. Uh, but again, we have to find ways to 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 you know go around that and and you know be be productive and be um, successful without him. There have been a lot of nights where you guys have been able to outscore your opponents just because of the sheer offense you guys can bring. Do you feel that you've developed as a group that kind of overall game that you might need to lean on a little more now? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think, you know, when you have guys like him, uh, you know, the odd game, you're going to outscore a team. And I think we relied on that too much in maybe the years past and, and maybe even the start of the season. But uh, I think we've really uh, figured out as a group how we have to play, um, how we can beat teams. Um, so I think we, we took a big step in the right direction that way. Just considering his work ethic, do you expect to see him back sooner than later? Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't think... Uh, I'm not sure personally how, how serious it is, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm sure the doctors uh, and his, his people, they know. So, um, uh, But, you know, with his work ethic, like you said, um, you know, he's going to do anything he can to, to be back as, as soon as possible. You've had a really good offensive season this year, and you've done so um, centering your own line a lot this year. Is there uh, is, is it positive in that you know you guys have been able to generate quite a bit of offense even though you haven't been playing together? Yeah, I think it makes our team dangerous. Um, you know, obviously we have still the ability to to play us together, but um, you know, obviously our team uh, looks looks deeper that way uh, if we're on separate lines, and it's been working for us. We've been winning games, so um, yeah, you know, it's. It's been good. We just have to make sure we keep keep going. There's a, you know, fans, the media, we're paid to make a big deal out of this. <laughs> There's some panic out there in Edmonton. How do, in this dressing room, do you make sure that guys chill and they don't make too big a deal out of losing? Yeah, I mean, first of all, it is a big deal. It's the best player in the world. And, and I think he, like I said before, if he's missing on any team, it hurts. There's no, we're not going to come, we're not going to find a way around that. But we have to come in with the right mindset and, and make sure we, you know, find our own game away from him, you know, without him. And, um, you know, obviously it's going to be a tight checking uh, group in here that that's going to, you know, defend like crazy and, and try and win games that way. So, but like I said, I think we have the guys in here to do that. So, um, you know, I'm very confident in this group.